I'm always kidding around. I've always been trying to make you laugh or Michael's pulling pranks on me and making you. I don't like the pranks, but he does it anyway. But I've made a, I've made a commitment on this. I am going to fight this. This is where I live. This is where I'm raising my grand boys. I've made a commitment on this. I'm, you know, you all know me. Everybody, hell, everybody knows everything about me. Grandpa's putting his personal life on hold right now. This is, this is the most important thing in my life, is to keep my home. And so, anything I got going on personal now is, is held up. It's just on standby. This is important, people. You know, how many of you people get up every morning, you go to work, you come home, you pay your bills, you sit in your living rooms, you watch TV, you drink a beer, you drink a glass of tea, you kiss your, your old lady man, you go to bed. We're not going to have that opportunity in about four months, five months. We're not going to have homes. We're not going to be able to sit in our living rooms and watch nothing or drink a beer or a glass of tea or even screw the old lady. We ain't going to be able to do that because we're going to be in the street. Thank you, Mr. True Luck. Thank you, Boeing. <laughs> Wish the hell you'd have stayed in Washington where the hell fuck you belonged. Thank you, Mayor Sumi or Summy, or whatever the fuck your name is. And your son, Elliot, when he comes up for re-election, I swear to God, my hand is up to God. Elliot Summy, Grandpa is gonna do more videos about you. I'm gonna do everything I can to see that you fucking lose your election. Cause you don't, you don't care about us. You don't care about the little man. You don't care about the people trying to survive and pay their bills. You got your shit. And we all know how you got it. A lot of people know how y'all got y'all's money too. Ain't that right, Mr. Crosby? Yeah, Grandpa ain't stupid. Grandpa knows all about the damn minor Crosby connection. I ain't dumb. I'm old enough to remember it. So don't play fucking innocent like you better than me because you ain't no better than me, bitch. Okay, youngins. This is bloggy time. Grandpa's favorite time because this is my channel that I can say and do whatever I want. Today, I want to thank Miss Dorothy Williams. I'm going to tell you something. It's not often you meet a politician who cares about her community. Dorothy Williams, excuse me, Mrs. Dorothy Williams, Councilwoman Williams, let me show her respect now because that's respect. Anytime you got a, a council person, you, you give them the respect. You call them that. You call them Mr. Mayor. You know, she has gotten in the middle of this thing. I called her this morning. And we had a long talk. And she informed me that she is not for this, this trailer park being taken away from us. That the city of North Charleston was going to do whatever they could to make sure this stays apart. Now, Ms. Williams, in all due respect, I trust you. I trust our mayor. Because he's a good guy. He really is. I know I might have said some things, but that was the heat of the moment talking. When you're talking about taking somebody's home and putting them in the street, what do you want me to do? Sit here and say, gee, thank you, may I please have another? And as like Councilwoman Williams said, I should have got my facts straight. But I thought I did, and I, some of them I still think I'm right on, but time will tell. Come the 10th of May, we're going to know for sure. That's when everything comes up before y'all. I'm going to trust the mayor. I'm going to trust Councilwoman Williams. Because I know they want to do the right thing by the citizens of this trailer park. But see, I don't think this trailer park is going to be here. And it's not going to be because of the mayor or the city. They're going to do what they got to do. They're going to say, no, they can't do it right now. But I think what them jerks are going to do is evict everybody, have an open, open land. Then they can pretty much do what they want. I think they're even going to try to screw the mayor and the city council on that. But... Beside the point, the mayor, the city council, the zoning people, man, thank God for them people. They stood up. They said no. 
Stop calling City Hall, youngers. Let's give them, let's give them their kudos. Leave them alone. Let, let them get back to running the city now. And let me get back to finding out what's going to happen with my home. Because we got a company running around now passing out brochures that they will move our homes for free if we qualify to fit in their parks. My trailer's not because it's 30 years old. That's the side point. Grandpa come up. He always comes up. Miss Williams, I know you're going to watch this because you told me you were. Hey, I mean, you need to go out lunch one day, lady. Ooh, yeah. I bet that'd be fun. We're going to find someplace good to eat, me and you. Grandpa always likes to be seen with them good-looking women. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Williams. Mr. Mayor, I'm sorry. I hope I can work with the city in any way I can to get this taken care of, and I will be there May 10th. Thank you, youngest. Quit calling City Hall now. Thank you. Bye. Here I am at another one of ARC's properties. The man told me just to go help myself look at what I wanted to. Nice playground. Right on Highway 78, the fairgrounds is just right over there. This is a nice property. A lot better than what I thought. I, if my trailer could make it, this might be where I come. Man, I tell you one thing, ARC has really impressed me. They have opened the doors to Grandpa to show any property I want to go look at. I've been in and talked to the managers of each one of them I've been into. They're friendly. They're inviting. The, the property's clean. I tell you, ARC's just stepped up to the plate. They were a godsend for the people of Trailwood. Trailwood people, you're going to have to move. Just because city council is going to vote no, and bless, bless, you know, bless the mayor and Councilwoman Williams' heart, they're doing the best they can for Trailwood. But they, you know, that they, they're money talks, bullshit walls. Let's put it that way. I still want to meet with Bill. I still want to meet with Mr. True Luck. See what we can come up with for the people. You know, I know they got to move, and these people need to quit all their bullshit and understand they're going to have to move too. But there's got to be a solution to help them out. You know, if they got so much money, maybe we can talk a little something, something. You know what I'm saying? Grandpa knows you going to move. They coming after me just because of all, everything I've done. I've, I put a kind of thorn in their side. I kind of put a stop to the first time getting rid of the trade, you know, by going to City Hall with my videos. They weren't expecting Grandpa. Grandpa's expecting them, though. I know I'm going to be getting my eviction orders real soon. But you know something? I don't mind it a bit in the world. At least I was able to buy the people of Trailwood some time to get their monies together so they can do what they have to do. You people need to understand the seriousness of this situation. If you live at Trailwood Trailer Park, you're going to have to go. You ain't going to have to go to Dare tomorrow thanks to Thanks to all my youngins and the other people in the Charleston area that called and the newspapers and the radios and and now the mayor, you know, and the city councilmen are gonna vote, you know, with us. They're gonna vote no for the But the thing is, let's face it. They go ahead and evict everybody out of that trailer park, right? There's nobody in there. Then they can go back to city council and say, it's just clear property. Why can't we do what we want to do? City Council will have no choice. We'll have no choice but to pass it. And you can't blame City Hall for that. And the thing is, you can't blame the developer for trying to make money. But you can blame them for not trying to, to work with the residents of Trailwood, for not trying to step up to the plate and say, okay, we're going to give you all six months free rent. We're going to give y'all X amount of dollars towards your move. That's what hurts. If they'd have done that, your grandpa would have never made the first video. Grandpa would have said, well, that's the best we can do. Let's do it, folks. But thank God for ARC stepping up, going to move the trailers, going to set them up, going to put the skirting up, and give them a free month's rent. And all they got to do is sign a four-year lease saying they're going to leave their trailer here for four years. Which, there ain't nothing wrong with that, because who's going to pick up their trailer once a year and move it, you know? If you own your trailer, you, you're not just going to up and move. So, 
There ain't nothing wrong with a four-year lease, people. And that's the way I'm going to explain to my people. Come on, Mr. True, Mr. True Luck. Come on, Bill. Come to Grandpa's house. Let's go somewhere and get a cup of coffee. Let's talk about this. Let's see if we can work out for the people of Trailwood. Screw me. I don't care what you do to me because I'm a big boy. I'll run with the big dogs. I ain't got no money. Hell, I'd like to have me about an acre of land somewhere, my trailer on it, where I can't bother nobody and nobody can bother me. But I can't do it. So let's meet. Let's work it out for the people of Trailwood. Grandpa, I'd much rather help them than even think about worrying about myself. Because I think about all you youngins. You know, I've come to the aid of a lot of you, and y'all have come to my aid, so... I'm going to end this series until I get in touch with somebody and we, we, we talk or something. Mr. True Luck, Bill, my door's open. I'm willing to talk, I'm willing to negotiate, I'm willing to go to the people, and if you and I can work something out, I'm willing to stop the videos. Till tomorrow, youngins. Hey, youngins. We say goodbye to Dick Clark. Nobody can say anything bad about Dick Clark. And if anybody does say anything bad about Dick Clark, trust me, I'm gonna burn him a brand new asshole. I remember as a kid, rushing home from school, turning on the TV, da 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 da, da 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 at the bandstand, bandstand. Grandpa watched American Bandstand every day. Sure, we had Lloyd Thaxton and, you know, they were all on there, but nobody beat Dick Clark. Dick Clark was a hero to kids like me back then. Dick Clark had the guest on that everybody loved. Everybody listened to the music, danced. Oh, Grandpa, you can get out there in front of the TV. Da -da -da -da. You know, there'll never be another Dick Clark. Others might try to imitate. There'll only be one Dick Clark. Dick Clark will be missed by a lot of people. And the New Year's Eve that, that I brought the ball down, watching the rocking New Year's Eve show, you know? What can you say about Dick Clark? <laughs> There's not enough time to say all the good stuff about Dick Clark. And got nothing to say bad. Dick will miss you. Dick, I hope you rest in peace. And I'll never forget you saying goodbye, friends. Old grandpa here. I'm at our local flea market. This is where everybody comes to sell their, all their goods. I'm gonna take a little tour and I'm gonna show y'all some of the local cuisine. Man, these people, mm. they sell anything and everything. I don't give a damn what the hell it is. But I want y'all to get a load of this, all right? As you see, we is here at the, at the Lassen Flea Market. How y'all doing? Yeah, they think I'm my INS or something. We just show everything. There you go. She's all in evidence. Even get you now, how about that? They're cute. Cute little bunnies. Yeah, uh, velveteen lock. Look at that gray one right there. Yeah, that one's pretty. Dwarf hotots. I make a nice stew. Huh? I make a good stew. No. No. Too little. These will. Oh, those make the better stew. <laughs> yep. Do you eat you eat you eat rabbit stew? I do. I try it in Australia. I don't like it. Australia. Yeah. I ain't going to Australia. I'm staying here. No, I went over there and you know that's what I tried. Oh. Rabbit. 
Okay. Domestic so, rabbit is just like your uh, chicken. Anything you can do to chicken, you can do to yeah, rabbit. Yeah, it tastes like chicken, but I don't like everything it. Everything tastes like chicken. <laughs> Y'all no, like that? No, hey, you know, no, no, you talk to me. I even eat hey. in oh, the crocodile, like crocodile uh, restaurant. Oh, they're good. Mm. Crocodile is good. What's good? Crocodile. crocodile. Oh, yeah, I like crocodile tail now. Oh, Shit, yes. you cut that so much up into a steak. I ran, here I am at the flea market. Ran, what's your name? Jake. This is Jake. He says he's a fan of angry grandpa. <laughs> Imagine that. Why do people watch me for it? It's gotten them better. Because it's funny. Funny? I've seen some junk and I've seen some good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff at this table. She'll tell you all about it. Yeah. Um, look at, he's videotaping us. <laughs> How about, yeah, I videotape y'all. Come on now. <laughs> we got stuff back in too if y'all want to come back and look. Go ahead. No, it's okay. Thank you. I'll tell him. All right, let me turn my screen around, folks. She was just telling me that she'd take donations. Y'all come out to the flea market and donate. It's for her father's? My father-in-law's Her father-in-law's cremation. <laughs> I tell you, man, you can do anything in a flea market. We're trying. <laughs> We're trying. Hey, youngins. Grandpa here. I'm on the road. In the trailer park. For right now. You know what I was thinking? I do get on, I've been getting on Skype for like three years, three, four years now. You know some of the shit you see on Skype. If you people don't have Skype, get it. I have Skype with people, and <laughs> I've seen more naked butts. I've seen more titty. And I've seen some weird shit. I seen one one time, man, girl tell me, Grandpa, Skype me. So I Skyped her. Man, all I seen was a full moon and full eclipse. Damn. That was a horrible sight. I got goddamn women out there, man, that but as, as guys too, let me tell you. You guys ain't innocent. Some of the things y'all pulled on Skype. Skype is loaded with fucking weirdos, people. I mean, hell, I'm a weirdo. Fuck, I can say it. Can't be weird as that, that Mexican that was just spitting as we passed her. Did you see that? Well, that you know, like throwing up on the ground or something. Yeah, throw up in her mouth. Ugh. But yeah, really, really, if y'all don't have Skype, get Skype. Skype is funny as shit. Y'all need to write a book just with some of the stuff I've seen. You know, I've seen dogs kissing women. No way. I have. You have a, you have a fetish. <laughs> I do not have a fetish. <laughs> you have something going on. I ain't got a goddamn thing going on. I got a goddamn cat. Don't do it, Dad. Oh, God. You really killed it, I think. No, I didn't. You got too close. Oh my god! It got out of my way. Damn it. Nor normally at this point we'd be hiding the trail inside, but it wouldn't matter. Look at the motherfucker. Let's see if I mean, nobody, 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 no, 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 don't take my parking space. No, no, don't everybody keep going. Come on, like, change. Change, like, goddamn change. Look at this people next to us are gonna think you're like, I don't give a goddamn what they think. Hey, I, you, fuck you. Oh god, this is, oh, you're gonna hit that car now. I did hit one one time, trying to, I got are like you right serious? here. serious? Yeah, I can't. What she, happened? She got out and I said, sorry. That was it, man. <laughs> but yeah, if you don't have Skype, people get the motherfucker. And then just start Skyping people. You will laugh your butt off. You'll say, Jesus Christ. It's worth it's worth the time, worth the trouble. I talk to y'all next week. Bye, youngins. Cooking with grandpa! <laughs> I ain't done one in what? Two, three weeks. But today, Grandpa's making stuffed chicken wrapped in bacon! Everything with Grandpa gets done in bacon. Got the oven preheated to 350. You got to bone this fucking bird. La, 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 get out of my motherfucker. Just scrape it on back. And then cut that motherfucker. Now, you take out the hammer. Yes. Get out of the way, coffee. And you beat that motherfucker. You beat that motherfucker. Cause there ain't nothing left, man. Take that, Tina. You beat that goddamn thing.
and you flatten that meat out, see? Best thing about a motherfucking hammer. God damn this rain. What about goddamn salt? Get out of the way. Bitch, take my motherfucking salt. Then you lightly salt it. That good? Oh well. Then, you turn that motherfucker over. And you get some, you get the dressing that it pre, I got on stove top here. Get out of my leg, you don't need to be looking. Shit good to it. Mm. And then you roll it up. I wanna thank y'all. Y'all like my cooking with grandpa so fucking much. I'm gonna start doing more. Oh my god, I got no fucking bacon! Ah ha ha! Be careful, you don't want to cut your Peter. I mean, your hand. But anyway, I ain't going to take the whole bag. I need to get a couple pieces. All right, you take this bacon and you wrap the bitch. You just wrap that. Look at you got the shit pop out like that. Stuff it the fuck back in. Cause somebody go eat that shit. La 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 la. La 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 la. Hey, 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 motherfucker. Goodbye. I learned that last night my show. Come on, get out of there, you motherfucker. I'm calling you. I buy with cheap bacon. <laughs> Now look at that. Now, Grandpa I cut the bone. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Am I right? Count them. God damn, I must have vagina spider bites. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, wait. An eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> oh shit. Broke my fucking counter. Oh well, fuck it. I don't care. Then you wash your hands. Now, I've been listening. Is it preheated yet? Ah, oh, the oven is ready. Now you go place that motherfucker. Nah, 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 nah. In the oven. Middle right. And then you got all this good dress left. Motherfucker, good. Hold on. Shit's good, man. God damn. Got itches, man. Fuck. Uh, clean the mess now. God damn it. I got grease every month. Look at that motherfucking grease going everywhere. God damn. This looks healthy. And it pours my grease off. I'll take a bite of it, fuck it. Mmm! That's fucking good. <laughs> anyway, that's your chicken. Stuffed chicken wrapped in bacon! Mm. It's extreme. It's real good. Did you have to scream bacon like that? That's good, ain't it? Man, damn, look at that boy. Mm. Man, that tastes so good. What you gonna do for an encore? What am I gonna do for an encore? I'm going to Disney World! Look out, Mickey! <laughs> but yeah, Grandpa is going to, where's that? Disney World in Florida. What town? Orlando. Orlando, Florida, to Disney World. I'm gonna see if I can't get a date with Cinderella. See what's really under that dress. And I'm going to see the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I'm going with my Hogwarts shirt. You're just gonna fucking go. That's all you gonna do. On ride rides. Ooh, I bet they got some good buffets. I'm gonna eat food. Goddamn, you always talk about fucking food. That's all you ever think about food. I ain't got all day for this shit. Just blog, Dad. Don't worry about the cars. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I did it. I, I, I'm gonna save that one for another by myself. I, you know. <laughs> What more blog about?
I don't know. It's your life. What do you want to talk about? My life about? ain't much. What do you want to talk about on a vlog? I don't know. Cooking? Nah. Women? Too many. Sex? Nah. It'll get red flagged. Talk about what you do at the bar. Just tell people what you do. Yeah, there you go. Y'all need to come here and go to the sand shack with me. God damn, come on! Hey! Let's eat school out! Look at that motherfucker twirling his god. Hey, you oh. better move. Oh, I gotta film that. God damn, you better fucking move. Get out of my way! I gotta film you bathe this guy. <laughs> Get out of your head. That's right. You listen to Grandpa. Motherfucker. Got rid of one. But yeah, y'all need to come to the... Look at that motherfucker twirling that thing around his finger. That motherfucker, he got a pretty strong finger, don't he? It's a whistle on a string. I'm pretty sure you could do that too. That's a whistle. Anyway, how much long we got to sit here? I'm impatient, man. Where do you think you're going, motherfucker? You better not try to get ahead of me. Yeah, y'all need to come to the sand shot, man. Then people that you got some stuck up fuckers anywhere you go, but <clears throat> majority of people are pretty friendly, you know. And and, and Carolyn, she owns the bar and. Me and her go, we're going to start an online petition on legalized marijuana. Jesus Christ, come oh, on! Oh, shit. Okay, I thought the guy was about to be hit. Move the line! Fuck. It, but you go to Sand Shack, man, on, on Tuesday night, man, they got 50 cent tacos. Oh, that, shit, for real? Yeah. Oh, man. Nah, I don't like them. I'm going to have to show up at the God damn, by the time we moved. My God, man, we moved, what, five fucking feet? Man, you're going to hit somebody. I don't give a goddamn. Oh, man, look at him, man. He's really getting down with that whistle now. I got to film him, dude. He's It's like a sport to him, this whistle. No shit. But hey! It's, it's like the greatest time he's ever had. <laughs> I <I'm> that <laughs> motherfucker boy. <laughs> He'll he, he be upset that goddamn thing come off. But yeah. It was right there. Well, there in fact there. But y'all come to the Sand Shack. We'll sing us a song or two. Talk to some honeys. Hey, how you doing? You have a nice day. Now get the fuck out of here. Bitch. We're moving again. Five more feet. Oh, God. I'm just waiting for the bang. <laughs> Don't cry, Joni. Joni, please. That's wrong song. I gotta shot close you pull up to these cars. God. Okay, Dad. <laughs> well, goddamn, five more feet. What's this? Five foot, five foot middle elementary school. Damn. G. Paul here. You know, I wrote on my Facebook wall this morning about women being hot. You know, I'm bad as hell about getting on my show or on my Facebook and, and saying, are you over 18? Are you hot? Uh, are you married? Do you want to Skype? <laughs> you know, basically, that's bullshit. It doesn't matter. You know, it's what you consider hot. A good heart could be hot. Uh, the way a woman treats you could be hot. Uh, the way she takes care of your children, keeps your house clean. You know, all that could be considered hot. Not just the looks. Looks, a lot of people, you know, a lot of guys, you know, they could, they go out to these girls, man, that, that, that look like Barbies, you know, that look like at movie stars, you know, guys, you're not gonna get them. I swear you're not. You need to, you need to grow the fuck up and say, hey, this girl loves me. I need, I need to be with her, or she's gonna treat me good. And don't worry about what they look like, skinny, fat, whatever. If, if that woman, if that woman loves you, look for the inner beauty of that woman. You know, all women have beauty. You show me one woman, and I'll show you there's beauty in that woman, and I'll help you find it. Except Casey Anthony. Forget that shit. But you know, a lot of, a lot of people have been writing me saying, Grandpa, you know, maybe you'll find the right one. 
grandpa, uh, keep looking. I, you know, I found the right one, and I blew it. And I can't, I'm not going to call her name, because if I do, she's just going to cuss me out, you know, <laughs> for calling her name. She likes to be a private person. I blew it. Hopefully one day, if you believe in karma, she, you know, she, she'll re-add me to her Facebook, and we can start talking again. Maybe. I hope. I'm pushing for it. Y'all talk about Tina. Tina is gone. Tina and I are friends. And we're going to stay that way. You know, we can't go back together because my heart's not there anymore. My heart's in another state in another area. But that's neither here nor there. I've learned from my experiences. You know, it took me 61 years to learn that that love ain't no game. And you can't treat it. You, you start treating love as a game. And you're going to lose. Trust me, you're going to lose. If you find somebody, you wake up, good morning, honey, I love you. Give them that kiss, you know? Send them flowers. Let them know you care. But find that beauty. Find, find it. Tina and I had problems for many years now, and we're not getting back together. You know, my heart's, like I said, my heart's not there anymore. But we're friends, man. You know, there's nothing I wouldn't do for Tina. Goddamn plane, helicopter. <laughs> there's nothing I wouldn't, I'm not gonna see Tina go down the drain. I'm gonna be there for her. And when, if, and when I find, do find another love, she's gonna have to understand that Tina was part of my life for many years. And even though I'm helping her and I'm doing what I can, it doesn't mean that I'm not with them. You know, she had my youngest. That's beside the point. I'm telling you guys, don't go just the beauty. Look at the inside. Look at the heart, man. Don't fuck up like I did. Just don't fuck up like I did. Michael's not going to want to put this up, but you know something? I don't really care. It's going on my grandpa's corner. And I can put what I want there. Now, this is just a soft moment. The grandpa's got a little touch of softness in his heart. So don't take this as a weakness, because it's not. I just want to tell you, you women, man, y'all are beautiful. And I want to thank each and every one of y'all for giving your man and your future men the love they need. The kindness, the tenderness they need. And guys, be there for you, woman. Don't never be ashamed of her. You know, I see people now, they're walking down the street, and just because their wife doesn't have that quite the look, they want to act like she's not even with them. You know, fuck you, you know? That woman gave you kids. That woman cooks your food. She cleans your house. And you treat her like shit. Come on, guys. Start getting real. Don't take a woman just because she's pretty. Or skinny. Take it because she treats you good and you love her and she loves you. And for me, maybe one day. If it does, it does. If it don't, it don't. And if you believe in karma, maybe one day that special person put me back on her Facebook and I'm back. Until then, guys, don't look just for the beauty. Look for what's in here and in here not here because here is not going to get you anywhere here will I love you youngins I love you bye god damn what the hell is this shit yo gabba gabba what the hell are we raising a goddamn bunch of damn illiterate kids now? We gotta show them garbage like that? Yeah, but yeah, but I got yummy in my tummy. Got yummy in my tummy. Yeah, but gabba. Yo, gabba, gabba. Man, come on. Man, I know y'all don't let your kids watch shit like that. Are you raising a damn...
We're raising a bunch of illiterates, a bunch of retards. And I'm going to catch up saying that, but guess what? I don't really care. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, cartoons are weird. You got Dora the Explorer. And, 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 and Mackenzie was telling me about she went to a store and it had Dora with two little dolls. Dora must have got pregnant by that fucking monkey boots. <laughs> That'd be some ugly goddamn. Either that or that goddamn uh, Diego or her cousin. That'd be incest. Hopefully she didn't do that. I ain't know what's with Dora, man. You know, a girl that runs around with a bunch of fucking monkeys and stars and and all, I think the bitch doing drugs, man. I, whatever she's smoking, I fucking want some. You know, and, and then you got that goddamn, you know, and then back when I was back when I was a kid, we had Yogi Bear. We watched Yogi Bear, he's a fucking thief. Stealing picnic baskets. Oh, hey, boo-boo. I'm gonna steal a picnic basket. Oh, here comes Mr. Ranger. You know, and we were like, hey, I like Yogi Bear. <laughs> People, what are we raising? Then you got Barney. Oh my God, a pink, a, a purple fucking dragon. I watched it one time, and no fucking lie. Barney got up there, and this little boy, they were leaving in the show. Little boy said, goodbye, Barney. Thank you for taking me in the woods. What? In the woods? What Barney doing with a damn little, little seven, eight-year-old boy in the goddamn woods, you know? And then you got SpongeBob and Patrick. Y'all all know that Spongebob's gay, right? He has to be, man, because one time him and him and Patrick, they adopted this little goddamn starfish, right? And Patrick was the man because he went to work. You know, he, he didn't go to work. He just, like all men, went and hid. Went and hid, right? I can't, I can't even talk this morning. Went and hid, you know? Patrick ain't, you know, Patrick ain't going to work. He just, he just hanging out, man. But anyway, Spongebob stayed home and took care of the little motherfucking starfish, you know? Then they showed a scene where here comes Spongebob wearing a dress, got a parasol, wearing a big old hat. We know who's the receiver there, don't we? <laughs> oh my God. Anyway. What are we raising, people? You know, what are you letting your children watch? Well, you can't let them watch politics because that's full of crooked shit too. You know, I'm not even going to vote this year because I don't like Obama and I don't like old Mitt Romney. I think they both suck. So I ain't even going to vote. But anyway, man, watch what your children watch, man. Watch it with them and laugh at them and point out, that ain't real life, youngin. You want to see real life? Take them to the ghetto! <laughs> Grandpa here. How y'all doing this morning? A lot of y'all been writing me and asking me what's going on with the trailer park. Well... We got a letter. We'll read it to you. It says, first we want to reassure the residents of Trailwood that we respect and appreciate their concerns about the future of Trailwood. Yeah. At this time, we do not know the specifics or timing of what North Charleston, of what Charleston County or the city of North Charleston plan for the property. The city of North Charleston adopted a comprehensive development plan on July the 24th, 2008, that identified this property as redevelopment priority. And more recently, Charleston County has proposed an I-526 improvement and new Dorchester Road connector placing a four-lane highway th through the center of Trailwood. Boeing, fuck Boeing. During the past several years, we have been approached by numerous prospective buyers about the possible sale of the property. We entered into a contract with Palmetto, Palmetto Land and Sea, LLC, an investor developer to sell trail wood and other parcels. However, the contract allows Palmetto to select the closing date. We believe that the sale is unlikely to close for many months. We do not at this point have any concrete timeline we can publish. As a resident of Trailwood, you are entitled to know where things stand, and we plan to keep you informed and to make it as easy as possible. Should the, should the sale close, which we believe it will, we will work to give you as much notice as possible, and we will help you find another location 
that will suit your housing needs. In the meantime, okay. At least we bought some time, young. If it had been for y'all, we'd probably done had the letters on the door saying, go, move. You know, it's, it's a shame when a big company like Boeing comes in and they got the Charleston County and the state jumping through hoops just to satisfy them. But what about the, you know, what about the people here in Trailwood, you know? You know, you can't blame Mr. Mr. you know, Mr. True Luck. Hell is a businessman, you know, he's out to make money. You can't, you can't blame him for that. But what about the 450 families here? A lot of them don't have the money to move their trailers. A lot of their trailers won't move, so they're gonna have to just leave their trailers and go rent somewhere, which means they're gonna be paying a hell of a lot more money than what they're paying now. I really feel that this, let's see, what's the name of this company? Palmetto, Palmetto Land and Sea, LLC. To me, they ought, they ought to be forking, you know, somebody needs to be forking over a few dollars to help these people. Hell, even a thousand dollars would help, goddamn. And it ain't gonna hurt them. All the money they gonna make off this property. What do you do, youngins? Grandpa gonna have to move too. My trailer, I don't think I move. And Grandpa ain't got the money to goddamn buy land and property. You know, I trailer. Gotta do something. They say many months. How many months? I'm betting on. I'm betting on five to six. If I had money to bet, I'd bet in about six months this trailer park won't be here. But that's cool. We, you know, we we go we're gonna adapt. We're you know we're grown people. I just feel sorry for the people that can't afford it. Youngs, I want to thank y'all for what y'all did. Y'all helped us buy time. If y'all hadn't have done what y'all done, shit, we'd have probably done got the letters to move. But like I said, you can't blame Mr. True Luck. He's a businessman. But I don't see why Palmetto Land and where were they? Land and Sea Developers. I don't see why they can't. They won't even talk to me. I, I try to get in touch with them people. They don't want to talk to me. Wonder why. All I'm gonna do is talk to them about maybe setting up some kind of a plan so we can give these people a little a little relief, a little help. You know, they even they, they could even drop the damn rent for the six months or something. You know, say so, okay, y'all put your money aside. But most of them wouldn't do that because. They live day to day, paycheck to paycheck. Which most people do live. Hell, I live that way. But youngins, thank you for what you did. Don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but gotta do something. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, youngins. You know, Michael, this reminds me back when I was a little boy, you know, your, your granddaddy, you know, he was paralyzed from that down. And he was up here at the nursing home at this VA hospital in Columbia. While well, we lived in Charleston, so every Saturday morning we get up, get dressed, and Bob and I we drive down the, to go see him. Right? Well, <laughs> I got a little older, man. I just got my driver's license. You gonna love this story, Mike? I just got my fucking driver's license, okay? And I'm thinking I'm king of the fucking road, right? So we're going down 26. I think the speed limit there was like 75. And I was doing 80. And there was like, there was a fucking highway patrolman on the side of the road. And I was breaking the speed limit because I was doing 80, right? And I just put, I write your hurt signal on, and I pull over in the medium. Mom was like, what the fuck you doing? By that time, that cop pulls up behind me. He, and, and I said, I know I was speeding your officer. He said, huh? He said, I pulled up behind you because you were, you pulled over on the medium. <laughs> I said, you mean I, I wasn't speeding? Well, you were going five miles over to have your license. Oh, Motherfucker wrote me a ticket, man. <laughs> your first ticket was by admittance. By admittance. So now I don't admit to fucking nothing. Oh shit, dude. Speaking of cops, oh goddamn. Hang on. I'm gonna slow your roll. Oh shit, he's got his lights on too. Hope he's got another motherfucker on there. Please don't. Oh shit, is he leaving? Oh, he's pulling someone else over. Yeah, hey, okay. Right. That, who is that? That's, that's Charleston County. Fuck you, Charleston County. Well, here we are in beautiful downtown. I used to sell peanuts up here on the left, remember? 
Yep. This little building right here on the left. Where that red building is. Yep, I... Well, oh, goddamn, somebody else selling some shit there now. Fireworks. Wow. Damn, man. The water department used to fight with them all the goddamn time. Man, look at this shit. Oh no, they got a China, China Look, I got a China taste now. Somebody on city council must have died. Let's not eat at Grandma's Diner. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my hey. God, remember over here, wasn't it that like biker festival you set up? You set oh up my for? God. I lost my ass on that son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, yes, man. I remember well. Yeah, we didn't eat for we didn't eat for a while after that. Yeah, we did. We had a lot of goddamn. Uh, yeah, we ate cotton candy, cotton candy, candy and fucking peanuts. Was it there? Oh shit! Yeah, right there. Damn, nice yard sale. It's a it, dad. Remember, it's a Gaston yard sale. True. Probably like banjos and false teeth. What? <laughs> the fuck is this shit? Yeah. Oh, Michael, can I ask you a question? Uh. Who in the fuck would ever open up a business in this fucking area? They're, fa they're famous. You know what the famous words I've noticed now? You, instead of, can I help you? What do you want? Yeah, what I noticed want? that too. What do you want? What do you want? We I got him shopping center, Michael. A food lion. A food lion? In Gaston? Oh, shit. I got to run in and take a look at that. A family dollar. Do this is number one China two. <laughs> that don't mean no <laughs> Number one China two. Remember the old dog food place? Diamond? That's a dog that was a dog food plant? Yeah, they made dog food. I thought it was a Tyson chicken plant. No nah, man. It smells like it. Oh, who ain't got the battle? Join the goddamn battle hey, battle! You look at these redneck motherfuckers! What do you want? Get me in jail! Put that goddamn seatbelt on. We spent a lot of time in this flea market, didn't we, Mike? Oh, we did. Damn. These are the Ching Chang Charlies here, I guarantee you. Oh, yeah. We're about Scottish Turtles. Hey, you think I look cool with a pipe? That you or me? Not me. Fuck. Nope. That is the Johnny Cash I like. He's talking to Elvis, probably. Or some goddamn cat in his yard. It's still the barnyard flea market in Columbia. What's, what's West Columbia in? It's somewhere. Lots of fun, lots of memories. Lots of memories here, man. Me and Michael. Me and Michael used to sell here for, God, four or five years. I like it, too, because y'all were gone and I was home alone. Yeah, stealing. I, I never came. <laughs> And I would always go because I would get things. I come back with a new video game every weekend. That, that we'd eat out every time. That was the main. Those were the days, man. We had a ball. You had a lot of friends out here, too. Yeah, we, I ain't know but a couple people out here now. Enjoy spending the day with you, son. Yes, sir. Most I'm definitely. glad we're back together now. Oh, yeah, most definitely. It's been a real good Just time. stay that way. Most definitely. Yes, sir. Later, Charlie. All right, bud. Y'all have I, a good I'll call you tonight. Back. What the fuck is that? You remember when them motherfuckers came off when you ride by? Man, I feel like some Final Destination shit right now. I want to, yeah, move away from mine. God damn. What the fuck is that shit? It's, it's plastic wrap. Oops. Oh. Ah! I'm scared. I'm legitimately scared right now. Ah! June the 16th is coming up. up. We're going to be having it real soon. Another month. Y'all know what June 16th is, right? June 16th. That's the day that little Kaylee Anthony became missing. And, you know, everybody was wondering what happened to her goddamn slutty ass fucking mama was running around goddamn partying and drinking. Piece of shit, bitch. I hate you, Casey Anthony. I hate you with a passion. But I ain't the only one. All America, the whole world hates you. You know something, Casey? You might have been found innocent by 12 stupid motherfuckers in Florida, but you know something? In the court of grandpa, you was one guilty bitch. The court of grandpa would have sentenced you to life or, or death even. The court of grandpa would have put you away forever. That's what the court of grandpa would have done. The court of grandpa don't like you. The, the youngest of grandpa hates you. 
You know son, I ain't forgot about June 16th. I ain't forgot about you, bitch. I'll always remember you. Nobody in this world can ever forget you. You can hide. You can change the color of your hair. You can probably knock out your fucking teeth so Big Bertha will love you. I don't like you, Casey Anthony. You killed your daughter. You're a piece of shit. Why would you do that to your own youngin'? Like I say, a court of 12 found you innocent, but the court of grandpa found you guilty. And your sentence is banishment. Nobody will ever mess with you again. Nobody will ever, except your stupid lawyers, because they're going to make money off your ass when you start making your books. And if you do ever do a, make a movie out of this shit, we're going to boycott that bitch. That movie ain't going to make a dime. Casey Anthony, may you rot in hell, bitch. Grandpa here. I, I, I'm going to put this on my, on my, my Facebook. I want y'all to see, you always hear about the dying of a community. I want to show y'all what a community looks like when it's dying. That's it. People pulling trailers out. People pulling trailers out. Not putting any in. Trailers just being pulled out everywhere. It's starting a little bit more like a ghost town here now. I'm doing this because I want y'all to see. I, I want y'all, you know, you hear about this every day. You hear about, about places like this happening and you wonder why. And I want you to see for yourself. Look over there, folks. Empty damn trailer spots everywhere. If you look down here, you see more. Nice lake, you know, you think this place be prosperous. Look at the lake, the little, little pond. This trailer park, empty trailer right there where the people move because they couldn't afford to move it so they just leave it. This is what the death of a trailer park looks like. Very little traffic in the streets, just very little. People, I'm telling you, Unless you've lived it, you don't know nothing about it. I got some good youngins. I got some youngins that are trying to help me, personally. You know, Grandpa, he don't, he really don't make much doing this, but, and I didn't ask for no help. They just volunteered their offering. It's sad to see a community die. I'm gonna do another one in a minute. I'm gonna put up two videos on my, on my, on my, only on Facebook tonight, only on Facebook. Because this is my youngest to see. Sad. Hear the quiet. Normally on, on Saturday afternoons, this place is rocking. Not this Saturday. It's kind of like being in a cemetery, you know, and everything's peaceful and quiet. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. A lot of mothers aren't going to have anything to celebrate other than losing their home. A lot of them, the only home they've known for 30 years. And there's nothing we can do about it. Damn trailer park's gone. City Council did what they were supposed to do. They voted for us. So I give it to the mayor and Councilwoman Williams for what they did do. Didn't do no good. They're still evicting people. And we got people fucking us every day here. They're, they're offering us money for our trailers, you know. Well, you can't move it. We're going to give you X amount of dollars. They're not even giving you a, a third of what the trailer's really worth. You got a $5,000 trailer, and they're offering you 1500 bucks. Yeah, fuck you. Or they're, they're offering, oh, we'll move your trailer. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. And they want to charge you $1,500, $2,000 just to hook up to it. That ain't got the damn electrical's got to be done. That's not the damn around the bottom of your trailer, your skirting. That's not your decks. That's just towing it from A to B and blocking it up. Youngins, come on, man. Mother's Day tomorrow. Y'all y'all think about the mothers that aren't going to have a home. I'm going to end this one here, youngins. I'm going to put it up. 
But I gotta go do one now because I, I want I want to show you another spot of a trailer actually being taken down. Bye. I want y'all to see what happens. See them? That's that's a trailer being taken apart now. That's going to be moved somewhere. Who knows where? That's all part of the death of a community. You know, Grandpa been here for been living here about six years. I don't pay no house payment because my house is paid for. I paid cash for it. I only thing I pay is my lot rent. Now I gotta start paying everything, lot rent, because my trailer, they say it ain't gonna be moved. It ain't a bad looking trailer. Problem is, it's old. It doesn't meet the, the, the standards, you know? But that's, that's my home, that's where I live. Not a bad home. Like I say, it was belonged to my in-laws before before I moved it, and they died, and then my brother-in-law had it, and now it's gone. As you see, like I say, the death of a community. I'm gonna have to walk away from a trailer. I'm gonna have to walk away because I don't have the money to move my trailer. And, if it, and that's if it can be moved. That has to be, oh, hey, baby, be quiet now. And that's if it can be moved. This is the trailer I was telling you about. The dog ain't going to let you stay This trailer, this trailer's worth 5000 But yet they come and offer him penance. They, they want to give him $1,500 for it. That's them goddamn pieces of shit people that come right here and try and take advantage of people. I don't got, I don't got no seal on Huh? You don't got some good, good man. You own it, the camera. So are you. Ah, uh, let's go get another Corona. Yeah, uh, really. How do, how do you feel? About, let me ask you, how do you feel about this trailer park being, about us being I, shafted? I, I don't like it. I don't like it, man. I don't like it. I don't like it. Like Channel 2 that talked to me about it, but you know what we can do? Is this her property? Is this is her property, and she can do what she wants to do, but it's raining. Right. It's raining. But... She could have to go to the city for whoever bought it. Whoever bought it, you got to go to the city. The oh, city, they done bought it. They just went the on city, closing the day. The city already turned it down. Does, does, that doesn't matter. Huh? The, the, the sale is already, already, gone, already down. gone down. They're waiting for whoa, the closing. Whoa, whoa. The city turned down the zone and don't matter. Yeah. It don't matter. Yeah. They just haven't presented a plan to the city. Right. And right. they're waiting. And they're we waiting. got about three more months here. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I figure a year. Now, three more months, watch. Okay. Well, she, she, But anyway, people, that's what I was trying to tell you. She's giving us, she's giving us yeah. a little, uh, They're saying six months on that paper. I'm saying three. You're saying three? They were saying in City Hall uh, the other night at the meeting. Yeah. We can look about three months. Three yeah. months. Okay. Anyway, people, as you see. Thank you. Appreciate y'all talking to me. Yeah. All right. As y'all see, even the people, they don't know what they're going to do. So, like I say, I got a little trailer. I can't do nothing with it. I can't move it. So, I got to start paying rent and all that money. I don't have it. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna have to do something and I know it. And as I walk home now, all right, youngins, remember tomorrow, tomorrow's Mother's Day. Hug your mama, tell your mama you love her. Don't go through what I went through. You'll find out in the morning. Later, youngins. How you turn this goddamn? Listen, people, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to be like that. I wouldn't have spent it coming to my mama's grave to be that hard. But I love my mama. My mama was the world to me. And now she's gone. God, I love my mama so very much. I don't mean to cry, people. I just love my mama, and she's gone, and I don't have it. My, my best friend in the world is gone. My best friend in the world. <laughs> you know, it's hard living without my mama. You know, I got Michael. Michael's the only one I got.
And now Charlie's back in my life, so I'm hoping I can rekindle something with him and make our lives happier together. I'm sorry, kids. I just, <laughs> I can't do this no more. Yo, look. Oh, the food out of that fridge. You know, what I take, I, I didn't do that, Michael did. Y'all all saw it. Michael talked about turning me in somewhere. Y'all all saw Michael do it, yeah. Afterwards. Y'all saw Michael do it. I did not do that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'll come to your house and tear that motherfucker up too. Let me in your kitchen five fucking minutes. You love me in your kitchen. You can call Grandpa and say, Grandpa, my kitchen needs redecorating. I do a good job. I'm going to go to Bridget's mama's kitchen. Whoa! I still got a fucking potato. I didn't do it, I swear to God. Ah. You know, youngest, don't do as I do. Do as you want. I don't give a fuck. Tear your own kitchen up. Tear your bedroom up. Bust your TV. Who cares? I don't. I'm grandpa. I do it because I give a fuck. That's me. I'm your grandpa. I'm the one that loves you. Is that even recording over there? Yeah, I'm recording. So you're making a blog after this? I'm just talking. I'm grandpa. I do what the fuck I want. Get away from me! I just wanted to get in the camera shot. You get in my goddamn camera. This is mine. I'm just talking. I'm gonna sing a song. I'm a little teapot, short and stout, stout. Here is my hand, oh, here is my spout. Man, don't you own a dustpan? Yeah, I got a dustpan, I'll get it for you. Thank you very much. Now, where's the dustpan? That's it. It's the first place. Oh, man. Best dustpan there is. This thing don't work. Now, dump it out and then use it again. <laughs> <laughs> this is shit. That's my kind of dust pan. I use that kind. Man, goddamn, get the fuck out of the way. Where are you here? Take your goddamn old piece of shit camera. Oh, garbage gut piece of shit. Get out of the way. I don't trust you. Here, take your dust pan. Yeah, ain't no problem. First of all, I got to get the pot up. Put it in the sink. Cleaning with Grandpa. Come on, don't even. Why is my floor slipping? I'm a little teacup, short and stout. This is disgusting. <laughs> My dust pan working though, ain't it? This is disgusting. <laughs> Here, you try it. Whoa! <laughs> Just take this fucking camera. Oh, God. Ew, something got on my toe. You know, I guess she's got to go for it, huh? Oh. Damn, you gotta pick it up. Put it in your dust. Oh, fucking, the goddamn dustpan, dude. Fuck, give me the bag. Well, I got me another dustpan right here. These aren't dustpans, they're pieces of paper. Nice dustpan. Fuck. You know, Michael, I'm kind of pissed off here, and I always want to tell my youngins. Somebody sent me some shit saying that Casey Anthony is adopting a baby from Romania. What the fuck? That bitch don't need to adopt no baby. That bitch don't even need a kid. She done killed hers. Oh, I know, I know. Twelve, twelve jurors said she was innocent. That's Florida. They can't get nothing right when it comes to goddamn stuff like that. What is in your mind, Romania? If this, this is true, then what is in your mind? 
just because she's gonna give y'all $75,000? She don't need no goddamn baby! I hate you, Casey Anthony! I wish you... I hate you, Casey. You don't deserve a baby! The only... I wouldn't even let you... I wouldn't even trust you going to the SPCA and adopting a fucking puppy! What is your problem, bitch? You done killed one! You wanna kill two?! Uh, the world hates you, bitch! And you're gonna get a baby and you're gonna go live with your aunt in goddamn Texas? Fuck your aunt! If she lets you move in, she's a goddamn piece of shit, too! You gonna live with your lawyers! Yeah, I know I'm gay! Goddamn right, I'm motherfucking mad! I'm mad! Yeah, I'm mad, Casey! You don't deserve no goddamn youngin'! You don't deserve shit! Only thing you deserve is to be in that bunk with Big Bertha so she can pat you on the ass. In fact, I'd rather date Big Bertha than date you, slut. Man, fuck. God damn. <laughs> Bitch, don't need no goddamn oh, kid. Watch it. I hate her, man. The bitch needs... She should've just died. She should've got the goddamn chamber or a fucking chair and... Bye-bye, Casey. I'd have, I'd have danced at your goddamn funeral. But nobody else would have showed up. Casey Anthony, don't adopt. And if she does adopt, then DSS will be on your ass every goddamn day. You don't need a goddamn kid, bitch. You don't need a puppy. You don't need a bird. You'll kill anything you fucking touch, bitch. What the fuck? No, hell no, 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 no. Goddamn, Casey Anthony, they were gonna do a movie about Casey Anthony. And about that murdering goddamn child killing bitch. What the hell is wrong with Timeline? You ain't got no better sense. Jesus fucking Christ. A goddamn movie about a motherfucking murdering bitch. Goddamn. Goddamn, why you wouldn't do something about her? She's a goddamn murderer! The bitch is gonna make money off this shit! Goddamn, let's go to Florida and kill somebody! Maybe I can make a million goddamn dollars! Goddamn! Goddamn! Fuck this shit! I don't like it! I don't like it at all! Oh, damn, I don't like it! Goddamn, fuck her! She don't deserve no goddamn money! Ah, damn! Ah, damn. Fuck her! Nobody watched the movie. No, if, if anybody advertises it on it, boycott them bastards! That's you, Casey! That's you, whoever's doing the goddamn movie! I tore my house up motherfucking nut. Well, here I go. Get ready to go downtown to the court to see about this here little thing they call a divorce. And I told y'all I had a surprise for you last night. There is my witness. <laughs> Princess herself is my witness to my divorce. So, y'all just go along for the ride, okay? Well, here we are at the courthouse now. Grandpa got to go park. Uh, I'm not a juror, so... So here I am at the courthouse, folks. Won't be long now, I'll let you know when I come out. My D-I-V-O-R-C-E became final today. Now my big fat ass, I can go my way. Hey, I got my divorce, youngins. <laughs> yeah, I did. Went in there, boy. I thought Bridget was gonna fuck it up, but she didn't do it. I thought she was, though. She said she was going to. Going there, and that judge, he asked all the questions. I ain't had to ask the motherfucking thing. So, yeah, as of right this moment, it's 10.30, Grandpa's single. Ladies, catch on. Yeah, Grandpa's got his divorce, got the paperwork in my hands. 
I'm a happy man, and bye. You know, youngins, yeah, I'm divorced. And I, I just kind of laughed about it a minute ago, but the truth is, divorce isn't a good thing. Divorce isn't a happy time. Divorce isn't a time you get up and celebrate, not unless you're married to a fucking witch or a bitch or whatever. Damn. I mean, I really don't know how to say it, you know? Tina's my friend and she's gonna stay my friend. I, you know, I'll always care about Tina, so no matter who I'm with, a part of me will always be with her and her with me. But we just didn't, we had, you know, we had to, we had to part of the ways. We had, to, we had, to, she wanted a different way of living and I wanted another one. So we did what we had to do. We got a divorce. But we're still friends. We're gonna stay friends. I don't want anybody out there putting her down or saying anything bad about her because I ain't gonna put up with it for one thing. But yeah, Grandpa is now divorced. Grandpa is chasing honeys, talking shit, and walking and talking. So, look out, man! Here comes Grandpa! <laughs> I said yes. Let me see. Yes, it's filming. All right. Hey. Grandpa here. Tomorrow. You three. Better, you better say the date in case they watch it tomorrow. Uh, why can't I do what I ordered? Well, they, how about they watch it tomorrow and they show up Monday? All right, tomorrow is the 27th. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. At, well, it's in Columbia. Well, you better tell them where. I don't know where now. I'll find it. Let me see. Uh, Dad, Dad just doesn't want me finding something on his Facebook. <laughs> now that he's single, he's got some crazy shit going on in his messages. <laughs> Grandpa's gonna be at the TLC Sports Bar and Grill at 936 South Stadium Road in Columbia, South Carolina. Bell time is 3 o'clock. Bell time? Well, whatever the fuck it is. Ring time? That's good. That's Bell, whatever. Bell well, anyway, fun. anyway, they're gonna have a wet T-shirt contest. Grandpa could be involved. They're gonna have a beer chugging contest. Grandpa ain't gonna be involved. Tomorrow, three o'clock, where I told you I'm gonna be. Grandpa's gonna be there. Y'all come on out. Let's have some fun. Turn the goddamn thing off. Turn the goddamn camera on. Okay, you turn the damn thing on. Is it on? Turn it off. <laughs> I mean, you, you got me coughing. I forgot something. I want y'all to submit questions in the comments. I don't care what question you ask. You can ask any goddamn thing. And I'm going to answer it. You may not like my answer. And you never know what's going to come out of my mouth. I've seen some of the shit that's come out of your mouth before. You need to shut up. It's slimy and green. That's because it used to be your mama. Oh, uh, God. God damn. It was vagina spider that used to bite. <laughs> They had green shit. Okay, that's really one of the more disgusting things I've ever Anyway, visit you, princess, you got vagina spiders? All right, we are about to embark on our second half of this afternoon's festivities. Hey, Mr. Nelson. That man got the best tasting dirty dick in town. Hey, he's on the microphone. He got the best tasting dirty dick in town, man. I'm, I, I'm enjoying that dirty dick. Grandpa, I, n I never knew you swang that way, brother. Don't get the wrong idea. Even if I was queer, I could do way better than this old fucker. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Very good. That, that, this is pure pop. Oh, oh my God. Shit. The police tell him to stop. He don't stop. What kind of what's wrong with you? What happens to you people when they cross the state line in Florida? Hell, you the same damn people that let off Casey Anthony. Are oh, y'all done crazy in Florida? Used to be California was the wild motherfuckers. Not anymore. You Floridians are the crazy son of bitches now. Oh, I know one thing. TNA's in Florida. Them, they the ones that got their their own employees and rest and sent on food stamps. That damn Nick Hogan, he goddamn crippled his goddamn friend. And, and he's out driving cars today. Florida. In Florida. Get with it. Use your hands. Y'all got anything worth the fuck? Y'all ain't Disney World. I don't even want to go. I don't even want to go to Disney World. You lost the Florida ballots for Al Gore and George Bush. You fucked that election up. Do y'all ever get anything right in Florida? I know I'm going to get some hate mail on this. But you know what? I don't care. Cause I don't give a shit. Stop eating each other. God damn. There's plenty of damn steaks and shit in the store. Hamburger meat. Bacon. Bacon. Quit eating each other. Michael, where was Jeffrey Domney? Jo Domner? Wasn't that name Jeff, Jeff Domner? Jeffy? I don't know. Let's look and see. Come on. 
Oh shit. What did you do? I don't know. Don't ask me. Dahmer. No, he wasn't from there. He acted like he was from Florida though. You know, I'm kind of a little ticked off here. Ran across a situation where, where a, a child and a mother got reconnected after so many years. And the mother gives the kid away. You know, I don't want to, you know, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, 15, 20 years later, they want to be re she wants to be reunited with that child. So they meet. And they start a conversation. And they start talking. And then all of a sudden, you need to come visit me. You need to come see me. I haven't seen you since you, you know, I've never seen since you were a baby. And you were and you were taken from my arms and I gave you the word is gave. You gave them up! And now you want to be in their life. You don't need to be in their goddamn life. Who the hell do you think you are? You give up a child and, and all of a sudden you want to be in their life. You want to be mama? Fuck you. You ain't no mama. You ain't even a good goddamn baby donor. I got no use for you. You made me fucking sick. Stay away from that child. What about the poor woman that, that raised that child? That held, a baby, held the child's head when they were sick? Who was there for the goddamn when they graduated kindergarten saying, Oh, look at the precious little darling. I'm so proud of her. You weren't there. The adopted mother was there. She is mama. You ain't shit. And you goddamn kids that go around saying, I want to find my mama. I want to find my daddy. I want to be... Fuck you. You ain't much better. You don't need to find them. You got a mama. You got a daddy. They raised you. They're the ones that went, went, when you were 16 years old and little, 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 little Joey Big Dick wanted to take you out. They're the ones that made sure he stayed right. And when you little wingy wang wang, you got your first piece of tail, your daddy probably said, be careful now and use these. Not you, you sperm donin piece of shit. And now they want to find, I want to find that child of mine. I want to, I want to tell him I loved him. If you loved him, you wouldn't have left him. Because let me tell you something, bitch. Let me tell you something, sperm donor. When that baby was born, they had welfare and food stamps and all kind of government agencies that would have helped you keep your child. But you chose to give it away. Now choose to stay away. Good. It pisses me off. I wouldn't. We had a hard time when, when I had my children, but we didn't give them up. You know, you. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of hearing about it. I know a lot of people out there that are adopted and they get along fine. They don't need that damn woman in their life. They don't need that damn daddy and the uh, daddy sperm donor in their life. Remember, people, when you look at the one that adopted you, you're looking at the one that loves you unconditionally. How do you think they feel when you go around looking for your daddy? Are your mama, are your mama, are your daddy come looking for you? They're hurt. You kill them inside. You make them cry. They go to bed. They may not even admit to you that it's bothering them, but it is. Think about them. Hug them. Say, I love you. You're my mama. You're my daddy. Jesus Christ, use your goddamn hands. That's what they're for. And I can't say another goddamn word. Oh, God. Grandpa here. It's after the fact. I guess as y'all probably done seen, didn't go well. Oh well, what the fuck, right? That's the story of my life. Not go well, Grandpa. It's over, it's done with. There ain't gonna be no more of these goddamn meetings. Mom! Oh! What'd you do that for?
That hit me in the head. Yeah, it wasn't You'd have gone to jail, bitch. Anyway. <laughs> you, gotta get, you gotta get up and go. I've used on the elderly. <laughs> I got your elderly, but you ain't getting it. Anyway, it, it's been, it, the meeting's over with. She's putting ashes on my goddamn. Yeah, she's flicking ashes on the table. But meeting's over with now. Uh, ain't going to happen again. It's over. It's over. It's over. You say goodbye. And from this moment. Get up, fuck that damn. Your best thing is like shit, bitch. She just blew smoke in your face. And then put the cigarette out in your sink. Mom's a bad bitch now. Please get her out of my house. She is a bad bitch now, dude. Get her out of my house. Well, that's because she ain't around butchers now. <laughs> All right, youngest. I did. I, I, I'm through this vlog for today. I, I, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I didn't, but I hope y'all did. I said, get her out of my goddamn house. Get her out. <laughs> now you throwing shit at Bridget. She broke your vacuum. <laughs> what? Why did you break my vacuum? She's like the she's like the kid in school starting to break out. Why is it soaking wet? Bye, people. I got nothing else to say. The bitch done gone crazy. Bye. Whoa, whoa! All right, youngins. I'm in Orlando, and I've raised so much hell about Kaylee Anthony that I, I had to come here. I want to show y'all where I'm at. Y'all are gonna, I'm a little upset right now, okay? This bothers the hell out of me. A child is dead because her fucking mother decided to do her in to kill her own daughter. Youngs, this bothers me. This bothers me a lot. This is this is where Kaylee was found. As you see over here, they've got things all over around there. Somebody wrote a note. Let's see what the note says. It says, Kaylee, I have traveled many miles to see you. Y'all read it, I can't. This is one of the saddest things I've ever had to do, youngins. This poor child is dead. Her own fucking mother. Casey, you wonder why fucking everybody hates you, bitch? This is why everybody fucking hates you. This is why I hate you. This child didn't do a goddamn thing to you except, except love you because you were her mother. You were her mother, and she trusted you! And you let her down! You let her down, you... Sp I don't want anybody to ever forget little Kaylee Ann. A child that never hurt anybody. A child that was killed by her mother. And this court here in Florida might have found you innocent, but you know something? You are so, so fucking guilty. It'll come out one day. You will get yours. Kaylee, I hope you rest in peace, baby. Your mother didn't love you, but the world does. Damn, this is hard. A little baby like this was killed by her own fucking mother. I, I, I just gotta let y'all look at some of the sites, some of the things that I wrote to her. If nothing else, the trip to Florida was worth this. The trip to Florida, to Orlando, how could they have not found her sooner? With all the people that were walking around here and looking. I mean, look at this place. Here's something else. 
People wrote all over the trees. How could you have not this far off the road? Right here's the road, okay? I'm scanning slow because I want you to see something. It's not that far, people. Casey Anthony. I am never going to leave you alone. I am never going to stop bogging on you. I'm going to make sure the whole world knows that, that, that never forgets you. I want people to remember your face. I want people to remember that you are a murdering mother. You don't need any more children. You should not make a dime off this. And that, that crooked ass Jose motherfucker, whatever his name is, the so-called your attorney, he knew you were guilty. That's why he's not your lawyer no more. Because he knows what you are. You're a piece of shit. You're slime. You're garbage. You're a fucking nothing. You're a liar. You got away with murder, bitch. Only in the court of law, though. In Grandpa's court, you're guilty. In Grandpa's court, I sentence you to every bad thing in the world that could ever happen to you. Because Grandpa hates you, so does the world. I want y'all to see this one more time, and then I'm going to quit. Because I got to. I'm about ready to cry. If any of y'all are ever come to Orlando, come by here <laughs> for sale. I, they, they sell this land. <laughs> they better leave this piece of track. Looks to me like they're trying to sell this land, folks. I think we need to get together and make sure it stays a permanent marker for Kaylee. What do you say, world? Y'all with me? What can we do? How can we make sure this stays? Somebody needs to call this Tina Martin at Realty Group Specialist. We need to make this a shrine. We need to get in touch with Orlando city officials. Say, hey, make that place a shrine for Kaylee. Don't let some company sell it out and it becomes more houses or, or store or something. Come on, world. Let's don't let this happen. Sale pending? I say sales over. I appreciate Mackenzie taking me out here to show me this. Okay, everybody. Grandpa's about to blog, and he has not seen himself yet. So I'm gonna. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna sweat the view. God damn, your breath stinks, bro. What the fuck you been eating? Uh, you cannot smell my breath. You, you eat garlic. Dye all over you eat garlic. Okay, I'm gonna flip. Did you eat garlic? No, I did not. You eat garlic? No, I didn't. God damn. Wait, boy. I didn't have a garlic bread. Okay, Dad. Woo! You are lying. You can't smell my breath. Then how did I know you ate garlic? With that hair dye, you can't smell it. I smell that goddamn garlic. Are you ready to see your face for the first time? I don't Dad? want to see it. Look, Dad. <laughs> I hate you, goddamn. Let me dough face first into a cherry pie. I know. I don't. I, 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 I. Splat. I, I'm not believing this. Leave your bunch with cake. Take that cake, stick it up your fucking ass. I think it looks good. Damn, boy, something stinks. Smells like garlic. See, I ain't over there no more. This is what my breath smells like. Oh, goddamn. Is that the same thing? Yes. No, it is not. <laughs> I don't like this shit. My goddamn skin but I'd be fucking red. It might be a little. I, I'm going to braise hell if it is. <laughs> we can't help it. It probably will be. That'll probably wash off though. Yeah, that will wash off. Oh, I can't, I can't do this, yeah. I can't do this. You know it's permanent, right? What? You're supposed to get temporary. Long lasting. You motherfucker! Look, long lasting. One. Oh God, mighty damn. Is your eyes burning or something? I'm not talking to y'all no more. Get out of my face with that shit. Please get out of my face. Grandpa here. You know, back in 2007, there was a sofa superstore here. 
and it caught fire and our fire department the city of Charleston went to it and showed up and <clears throat> the fire was burning real good. They heard there was people in here. Nine of them rushed in. Nine of them didn't come out. We lost some good people that day. We lost Billy Hutchison. We lost Mark Kelsey. We lost Lewis Mulkey. I knew Lewis. He was a good fella. He used to he used to help out at the Somerville High School football team. Brandon Thompson. We lost a few other men. But anyway, they're recognizing them today, day's the anniversary, that the Sofa Superstore caught fire. Regardless of what mistakes were made, regardless of what happened, these men died in the line of duty. People don't remember the firemen. I was with the city, I was with the city of Charleston for several years. And a good bunch of guys, they firemen care about each other. Firemen do things for each other. Firemen do more for the community than the community really realizes they do. Brad Beatty, Earl Drayton. I want all my youngins, all my youngins out there on my YouTube. You know, we got over 100,000 subscribers now, so, but nobody remembers these, these guys. But I want y'all to remember. I want you to remember your own farming and your own communities. That every time that engine goes out, Mike Bennett, I remember Mike when he first started. Remember these guys, remember your own firefighters. Nobody thinks about them, they think of a fireman that all he does is lay around a fire station, does nothing. Until they need the fireman. Melvin Champagne, I knew Melvin. <clears throat> I'm telling you, youngest, remember your firefighters. You're sleeping, they're out on the truck. You're eating dinner, they're walking away from theirs to go to get on one. Like I say, Angry Grandpa was a firefighter. I miss them days. They're getting ready for a ceremony here. Y'all remember these firefighters? Old Grandpa here, I'm, I'm in the fire museum. Man, they got some old equipment here. Y'all look at that. This is back way. Now that's a ladder truck. Then they got all these patches, you know, for uniforms. Here are some of these old helmets. Well, I tell y'all something. This brings back memories. They got an old, old video of the old, 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 like an old Studebaker. I'll be damned. Old, old cheese uniform. You know, young as this is back in the day when, when, when the firehouse meant something. You know, the firehouse was a meeting place. The firehouse was a meeting place. They have done a fantastic job here. As I'm remembering the Charleston Nine, who died in the line. Look at that old fire truck. Now that's a truck. 
You old fireman might, might appreciate that. Oh, Grandpa does. There's the old cheese car. Now, Grandpa ain't gonna talk much in this video, because Grandpa just wants y'all to look. That's part of the old lab truck in the city of Charleston. I spent about seven, six, seven years in the city of Charleston. I know, I'm panning too fast. Guess what? I don't give a fuck. Nineteen twenty American LaFrance. You youngins remember this. I want all my angry grandpa youngins to realize that when they see one of these coming, somebody's in trouble. When you see these lights on and they're coming to you, somebody's in trouble and they're on the way to help. So when you see them at the firehouse, don't just say they're out there resting, they're doing nothing. Because when you're sleeping, they're working. Oh my God, Elvis. Of all things, Jennifer. Of all things, Elvis. <laughs> I hate Elvis. I like Elvis. Oh, you would. You're a dingbat. All right, youngins. This is going to this video. Hope y'all learned a little something about fire engines and about, about the, the men that die saving your, your property. They don't think about their own selves, they think about you. And they give their lives up for you. All right, youngins. Y'all take care. And I'll see you on the next video, Grandpa. I'll see you. Bye. Hey, youngins, look at Grandpa here. I'm doing my vlog today from the roadway in. Let me tell y'all something. Yeah, I'm on, uh, uh, I think it's Orange Blossom Trail Road. This is the cleanest, the friendliest hotel old man I've ever been to. I mean, the people here are friendly. They're, they clean my room. <laughs> you know me and rooms. But this is really a nice place. And if y'all are ever in the Orlando area, this is where y'all need to come stay. You will enjoy it. A lot of restaurants around here. A lot of traffic too. But yeah, y'all come, y'all here, y'all stay at this damn roadway in. I guarantee you be happy. They got a bunch of new rooms. And I think you'll enjoy it. So goddamn, stay here in the roadway. Grandpa did. Alright, youngins. If you live in Florida, here on this what's it was this Orange Blossom Trail Road or something. Never stay at this roadway in. So if you're over here on Orange, Bl on Orange Blossom Trail Road and you're looking for a place to stay, do not stay here. These people <laughs> let the little trash out the can. They complain, want to keep deposit. They just find all kinds of shit so they can keep deposit. So stay away from this roadway. Never come here. Grandpa's not going to stay here no more. Grandpa's going to find him a new one. So when you're in Orlando, stay away from the roadway in. It's a piece of shit. I can't even whistle. Da 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 da. We lost a great American today. Andy Griffin. Every goddamn one of y'all grew up with Andy Griffin. You laugh with him and Opie and Aunt B and Barney. Who, who didn't laugh at Barney? And he was always a level-headed sheriff. And when he left there, he made a movie one time called Onion Head, where he played a fool that was in the service that just took advantage of everybody. Andy Griffin was a real American. I grew up with him. Watched him all my life. I watched him as Matlock. As a, as a smart, shyster-ass lawyer. 
who always won his cases because he could always outthink everybody. I want y'all to remember Andy. There won't be no more like him. Andy Griffin was a man. Andy Griffin was my, back when I was little, I always wanted him as my daddy. Until I seen how rough he was in Opie. And then I didn't want him as my daddy no more. Barney been cool to have as a daddy though. One bullet in his damn shirt pocket. And who could ever forget Thelma Lou? Thelma Lou, you know. Barney's girlfriend. You know, we're going to miss all them. We're going to miss Barney. You know, I think Aunt B's done gone on. Andy's done gone on. Barney's done gone on. Floyd the Barber's done gone on. George Lindsay old Goober. Remember Goober? He's gone now. Hell, everybody that was on, Andy and Mayberry's gone. Uh, Jim, is Jim Neighbors gone? I don't know who that is. Or he's still uh, 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 in Hawaii. Anyway. I want y'all to know how much I, I'm going to miss Andy. And I want y'all to, to remember him, you know. Hell, he was 80-something, so, you know, we're dying for him. I guess that wasn't nothing surprising. I had questions. When you leaving? When you leaving? Well, how about get ready quick? You know, Michael, back when I was going to school, you know, I used to work at a little place called the Dairy Royal. And I cook burgers and shit. Dairy Royal? Yeah. It's their ice cream and shit, okay? So like a Dairy Queen. God damn it, shut up! Anyway. Like a Dairy Queen. Like a Dairy Queen. <laughs> anyway, the boss man used to raise hell, boy. We dropped food and shit. That's coming out your pocket next time! That's coming out your pocket! So I figured one day, man, I'm cooking this burger, man. I'm like flipping motherfuckers, you know? <laughs> I was trying to be real good. <laughs> so I flipped that burger, motherfucker, hit the grill and bounced on the floor. Well, <laughs> I said, I ain't paying for this bitch. So I reached out in and picked it up, you know, <laughs> blew it off, you know? Put it back on the bun, wrapped it up, served it, man. Man said, thank you much. We got that burger boy and he went and sat down at the table. He looked at me and said, man, that's the best burger I ever tasted. <laughs> no one motherfucker had shipped the floor all over that goddamn burger. I laughed my ass off that silly son of a bitch boy. He went, steady, spit him, steady. That motherfucker zoomed that burger like three bites. Damn. I was like, filth all over that shit. Did you bother wiping it off? No. <laughs> oh, God, off. so you're spitting on his food now. Oh, yeah, I spit on his food too. Then. So you drop food. I dropped food. Spit on I spit on it. And I fed it to the motherfucker. Okay? That's what I did! And he ate it! And he was spitting it! And he was... Okay, we're gonna die here. Then one time, man, I, used, I had the ice cream, right? We went ice cream. Well, I had to work in the dairy part. Oh, right, same restaurant. Yeah, and I had the same, but I had the same, but I put that in. God damn. Oh, uh, we're dead. Oh, uh, shut up. Anyway, Farewell. Anyway, I was, I was swirl the damn ice cream up on the cone, you know? One day, man, I'm sitting there, boy, and I'm swirling that ice cream, and this little kid, I keep, I want ice cream, mommy, I want ice cream. She said, she said, give me a vanilla, please. So I started swirling, that motherfucker started to fall, and I grabbed him, I did that thing, put my hand got, you know, oh, excuse me. Oh, I, 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 I kind of shoved it back on the goddamn cone, and I threw my hand, I went, did they see? No. I said, here you go, kid. Dad always does that. When he's cooking and shit, he's, even when you own your restaurant, Bullock is getting burgers and shit. He yeah, that up. restaurant. You ever that, that little snack bar? Hell yeah. And then no matter what I cook. <laughs> <laughs> That's so the God's honest truth. Swear to God, I always had to taste it. One time I scratched my ass and went, oh, God this. Oh shit, man. That was back in the day we had a little snack bar at the damn flea market. That was fun though. Michael was the cook, you know, Michael was a little tiny shit. <laughs> Michael was the cook. Man come out there, he wanted two eggs, bacon, and grits. And he saw Michael, he said, is that little fella there cooking my food? I said, yes sir he is. Well then I don't want it. I said, what do you mean? He said, I don't want no little boy cooking my food. I just want to get the fuck up the street. I don't want you ass anyway. Hey, I was a good cook. I swear to God, I think we've done about every kind of <laughs> business of the world. I told everybody about the clown business. Oh, now we're done. 
Oh, Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, how old Metro misses you. <laughs> that was really, I'm, sorry, I'm like overweight in this fucking costume, man. Yeah, let's go, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little peanut wagon, you had that peanut <laughs> Oh God, I'd love to have the peanut business again. Any gross shit ever happen when you're making peanuts? Yeah. Oh my God. The whole goddamn, so I feel like the whole goddamn pot of peanuts on the ground. <laughs> I just cooked them goddamn peanuts. What, you didn't serve them, did you? I was throwing them up, put them back in the pot, <laughs> eat them up. Oh, goddamn yeah. grass and shit floating on the top and all, you know? Oh man, you did not deserve a business. I'll tell you more of the story. Don't ever eat that, that motherfucking cook. You got it. Yeah, I'm gonna cook out Yeah, I'm gonna cook out. Yeah, you remember you, you, you the time I cooked out? You were little. Like the one with Charlie? Oh, that dumbass motherfucker. Yeah. Tell the story, tell him. <laughs> Had a cookout, right? And, uh, well, I was at work, man. But it's like it's like 100 degrees outside. I wasn't gonna cook inside, but it was too motherfucking hot. So I said, you know, I'm, I'm gonna cook me some chicken on the grill. It's about. I went to the store and got me some chicken, come home and fired up the old gas, fired up the old grill, you know. And I, went, I didn't have a gas grill, I had a charcoal grill. Man, I put that chicken on there, man, I'm drinking about, I drank like 12 pack of beer, you know. That's when you were a major alcohol. I was a major, ah, oh, fuck you. I'm surprised you didn't catch him. Hey, shut up, I'm telling you a story. All right. I'm just shut up, Sam. I am, relax. Anyway. That chicken man, it was getting good. I mean, that I said, Well, fuck, I'm going to have to give me another beer. So I went to the house, you know, an old neighbor come over and we went and got some beer. And all of a sudden, both goddamn boys come flying to the goddamn house. I said, Goddamn, where's the fire? Michael started laughing, huh? Fire's out there with the chicken. <laughs> I said, What the fuck you talking about, boy? So I went out there to look at the grill. And, God damn, that old son of mine done took a whole goddamn can of charcoal lighter, poured it all over my goddamn chicken. Motherfuckers are blazing, you know. Man, I chased that little son of a bitch down. He run like a rabbit anyway, but I couldn't catch him. I tried. Man, if I'd have got my hand on him, I'd have broke his motherfucking neck. Goddamn, there went my chicken. So then I, I had a beer in my hand. I used up my last beer to pour the goddamn chicken to put the fire out. Motherfucker, black as a bitch, man. I, I said, fuck it. I started eating the chicken anyway. All black, tastes like charcoal lighter. And I remember you had like a knife in your... <laughs> yeah, I had a knife. I was outside scraping the goddamn chicken. <laughs> I look like one of them goddamn barbarians back in the older days, you know? Sitting there screaming old bird before you goddamn eat it. I mean, I goddamn crushed that goddamn thick on that thing. I don't think it was edible at all, even after you scraped it. Well, goddamn, I paid like four or five or four or five dollars for goddamn chicken. I wasn't gonna throw it away. You had like a whole bag of just like random chicken parts, dude. It was really nasty. Well, that's all chicken we could afford back in the day. That's true. You know, we were poor back in the day. We were poor now, fuck. You know, it really, it really bothered me, man. You know, what really got me was Michael. <laughs> was on fire. <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> Laugh his little goddamn ass off. Back. You don't remember that? Okay, we're going to crash into the Fuck them goddamn bushes. But you know, burn my chicken. Wasted my beer. And goddamn wasted my time. Okay, why are you still so mad about it that you're going to kill us before we get to some... Because I just got to thinking about it. Hey, youngins, Grandpa here. A lot of you youngins ask me what's going on with the trailer park. Y'all write me and, Grandpa, how about an update? So I'm going to give you one. This is just stuff that you're seeing. People are moving. People just packing their stuff up and they're getting out. It's really kind of sad, you know? It's really kind of sad. Trailers are getting ready to be moved. All these families have been displaced. The trailers you see, with the, they're getting ready to be moved.
you know youngins is terrible. A lot of, there's been a lot of hard feelings here. The, the people that own this park, they don't give a fuck. They care less. They got their fancy homes, you know, and they got their, you know, their set, you know, and 1,500 families here have to get out. Hopefully, I gotta come up with the money, but I got I got to be out here by the first of the month. I'm still trying to find a place. It's kind of hard, you know, when you when your place was paid for it. All you had to do was pay your lot rent. You learn to live with that, you know. But my trailer can't be moved, so it has to stay, and I have to go. And I guess they'll sell it for scrap or something. I don't know. But it's a shame, people. I'm just letting y'all see some of these images of what I see every day. It's sad, people. It's really sad. Just... And a lot of people, like me, can't afford to really leave right now. Right there was this black fellow who worked for City Charleston. Had a cute little trailer. Always had a yard of the month. You know, he always kept his yard nice. He's gone. Right there was my friend Evan. Been friends with him for six years. Had a nice place, man. Had a nice deck, little building in the back and all. Gone. People here, they were nice people. Gone. People right there, they're getting ready to pack up and start getting out. But they had to fix their trailer up first. Now this yard here. You talk about a beautiful yard. This guy had a beautiful yard. Had him a double wide there, had all kind of plants and trees. Gone. Trailer been there for years. Gone. And I barely touched the trailer park yet. Why is it nobody cares about people? Why is it nobody really gives a damn about their, their fellow man anymore? Yeah, I got hard feelings, true. Do I think we were screwed? Yes. Do I think the true lugs really give a fuck? No. I'm just showing you, I go down this road right here, there's about five places right down there. People, you're talking about lives here. You're talking about, you're talking about a school that's losing, you know, 450 students because this trailer park is full of kids. Look at there. Just steps. Just pulled that one out last week. It's like that all over this trailer park. They're taking four or five trailers a day out of here. And does anybody care? You know, y'all are out there and you got your homes and you're sitting there now, this early in the morning, you're eating your breakfast or you're going to work or your kids are asleep because they're, they're out of school for the summer. Think about these kids. A lot of trailers like this one here have been just left. They've been left because they don't have the money to move it. Look at this. And I haven't even gone down two streets yet. I, everyone getting ready? That trailer there was abandoned because it can't be moved. But yet there were people living in there and that's all they could afford. When are we going to stand up and say, we're tired of bullshit, we're fucking tired of Boeing. People like Boeing that are, that are just 
taking our lives away, taking our homes away. You know, I show you all this because this could be your neighborhood. Let's say Boeing opened up a plant near your house and they needed your land. Here in South Carolina, the government can just take the land. The government can just take it. They don't have, they don't have, if you don't want to sell it to them, they'll take it. Not cool, people, not cool. I really want y'all to see this. I mean, I'm not doing a whole lot of talking. That trailer right there. People just bought it not too long ago. They can't afford to move it. So they had to leave it. There's a lot of that going on, people. Does anybody care? The thing is, the damn rent still goes on. They're still collecting their rent. If you don't collect it, they evict your ass right then. You don't get a chance to do nothing with your trailer. People, I, I'm doing this because I want to show you the death of a trailer park. The death of a neighborhood. The death of a community. It's going to be the death of a school. And these stores right here don't realize it. 1,500 people spend a lot of money in the community. 1,500 people aren't going to be here anymore. So these people are going to be hurting. This trailer here, people can't move it, so they leave it. Boeing, True Luck. The company that bought, which I still say is Boeing, I don't give a shit what they, tell, they say. They should stand up and the people that can't move their trailers, give them a little something to help them. I don't understand. Nobody cares about their neighbor anymore. Nobody cares about their fellow man. So anyway, I'm home now. Hope you enjoyed your little tour. Kind of says me. Bye. Grandpa here. Jose, can you, s Mr. Jose? Miss, what the hell are you doing, Mr. Jose? In Florida, Miss Casey Anthony's attorney, the man that got the bitch off for murder. The bitch that killed her own kid. They say you're writing a book. In that book, oh, if you say that she was innocent, then you ought to make top 10 on the fiction list. Because that's all fiction, baby. Now you know that bitch killed her kid. You know she should have been in prison the rest of her life. But no, you're a smart attorney. And you got her off. Along with them dumbass motherfuckers they call jurors. They wouldn't know a guilty verdict from a, a hamburger at McDonald's. Please don't tell me you, you go write a nonfiction book. Because I know you lying. You know you know when a lawyer's telling a lie? When the motherfucker opens his mouth, he's lying. Though they got these smooth words, you know, and you want to wake up and call people? Go to Orlando. Go to the place where they found Kaylee. Look at all the love she's gotten. Look at that cross there. With all the signatures. I mean, mine's on there too now. 
think about it, people. When you see that area where they found Kaylee, you can't help but know the truth. Casey killed her kid. I don't care what a court says. I know in Grandpa's court, she's a guilty bitch and she needs to swing. So you write your book, Mr. Jose. You make your millions. But don't lie. Tell the truth. You know the truth. You know that bitch has owned it up to you. You know the truth. Tell the truth. Finally, for once, somebody see what really happened to Kaylee. You say you're an honorable man, and I have no I don't doubt you. You're just doing your job, you got the bitch off. You hope you got paid well. That's blood money. You got a bitch off for killing her kid. I don't like you. So I tell you what, Mr. Jose. I tell you what, Mr. Jose, you write your book. And as long as you tell the truth, I might read it. But I got a feeling it's gonna be full of fucking lies. I got a feeling you're gonna sit there and swear that bitch is innocent. Hey, Casey, give me a call. You ought to time talking to people. Talk to Grandpa. I wanna hear from you, Casey. Really. And Mr. Jose, write your book, put it on the market, and the day it hits, it's coming out, that's the day I'm going to start preaching. Don't read, don't buy that book. Don't give that bitch no credence. You don't deserve it. You let him, You got to murder off. I guess that makes you the best lawyer in America. You got that bitch off. Anyway. We all know the truth, and that's all I'm going to say. Write your book, and I'll tell people not to buy it, not to read it. Bye, Jose. Can you see that you can set a murderer free? Oh, you are a butt. Yeah, fuck it. Bye. Hey, youngins. It's been a while. But cooking with Grandpa is back. Today, as you see, I got some Johnsonville prize. And I got some damn sugar cured bacon. Everything is good with bacon. So what we're gonna do here, I've already put the garlic salt and stuff like that on it. You sprinkle it real lightly with that shit. Then you lay out your bacon like this. You take your brat. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so it might be a bitch. And you roll that bacon up. And you put it with the rest of them. And that's your brat. All of them are, are seasoned in garlic salt, little salt, little pepper, uh, and then got the onion in it and the bacon wrap that shit gonna be good so I'm gonna pause here I gotta go start my fire on the grill and I want to get my burgers ready too we're gonna teach you how to make some good burgers tonight okay now I'm getting the hamburger ready a little bit of garlic everything goes good with garlic A little bit of salt. A little bit of Worcestershire. A little bit of cut up onion. A little cut up bacon. The ring will wrap these. Not at all. And we mix all that shit together. Oh my god! Bacon!
So we're going to partake in a little pig here. So let me get the patties ready and I'll be right back. Okay, as you see, the fire is getting there. Oh man, that fire getting hot. The secret is you want a hot fire. You want a hot fire so you can... You should have cooked good. You know, all that bacon. Oh, oh, that bacon. So, a little few more minutes. I'm going to go in there. And we're going we to bring it out. Okay. Let's get these burgers. One burger. Two burger. Three fucking burger. Four burger. Five burger. All right, we got six burgers on Agra. Now, we don't want that fire to jump up. Let's just close it. God damn. Oh yeah. They're cooking fabulous on the grill. Let's just cover them up. Secret is we don't want that fire flaming. Damn the smoke. As y'all see them burgers are cooking nice. Got all that bacon and onion and Worcestershire sauce and garlic and pepper and salt. Oh god. They are gonna be fucking awesome. Pretty burgers, isn't it? Okay, in a few minutes I can take them off. Man, don't them motherfuckers look good. Redneck ready. Hi, ah, damn. I can't wait to taste them. Okay. Now, you take the broth and just lay them in there. So all you want to do is just lay them. Brats are now on the grill. Now you want them to cook slow. So you close the lid. And you go in the house and you drink a beer. Fuck it. Be back. And that is the brats cooking. Look at that bacon. Look at that one. Oh, I can't wait to bite into that. See, you can do anything with food. You can do anything with food. Just if you can imagine it, try it. Put the lid on so it cooks some more. That's the beauty of cooking. It doesn't matter what you can cook, what you know how to cook. Try different things. You like bacon? Cook everything with bacon. Hell, you like chocolate? Fry your chicken with a piece of chocolate because you might like it. It don't matter if nobody else likes it or not as long as you like it. All right, there's the burger. Look at that. That belongs to my grandson. Find your fork, son. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you what the bratwurst looks like. Made up. And there you have it. Hamburger with bacon and onion and Worcestershire. Bratwurst wrapped in bacon with onion and garlic. Potato salad and homemade french fries. Youngins eating don't get no better than fucking that. So that's going to be it. I'm going to go fill my belly now. So good eating, little youngins. See you on the next one. You know, youngins, I am all the time talking to y'all about cartoons. I think it is fucking ridiculous how they think we're all stupid. They think our children are illiterate. I know, I know, I know. Cartoons and they're a babysitter for people. Oh, the kids are acting up. Turn the TV on, honey, and put it on Disney. Fuck Disney. Disney thinks everybody's on acid. Disney thinks everybody's doing drugs. Goddamn Mickey Mouse, yeah, dancing, you know? And Donald Duck. 
and goofy. That bug is goofy. But anyway, they got this one little thing, man. And anytime Mickey's doing something and they can't figure out how to do it. Well, you know, Mouse ain't too smart anyway. A little dumb little motherfucker. He ain't that big, you know what I'm talking about? But they got this little thing. Well, Mickey, what are we gonna do? We gotta fix the car. Well, woo, ooh, ooh. what do we need to fix the car with? Do we need a ballpoint pen? Do we need a frying pan? Do we need a hammer? Or do we need a wrench? I don't know. I know we do this. Oh, toodles! Oh, toodles! And this little motherfucking thing come flying up. And Mickey says, oh, there's toodles. And Goofy says, oh, we can figure it out now. Toodles is going to do it. They make Toodles do the work. I think he's from goddamn Mexico and he's doing it cheap. That's why. I think that's the problem there. But old Toodles is a smart little motherfucker though, you know. He grabs the wrench. He fixes the car. And Mickey's happy. He ain't paid him a goddamn dime. He says, thank you, Toodles. Thank you, Toodles. And Goofy, oh, thank you, Toodles. Toodles don't get nothing. He gets a goddamn hard time. He's all the time doing Mickey's goddamn work. You'd think he'd be getting tired of that shit and learn a lesson. But that's Toodles. So, what is wrong with Disney? They think we own drugs. You watch that show, you're going to be on drugs. Goddamn little rat motherfucker running around. Short pants on. Dancing and talking shit. Oh, toodles. Oh, toodles. Shut my... Nah, never mind. <laughs> Bye, youngins. Okay, as you see... I've got the fish in the plate. Here, Mr. Fishy, swimming upstream. Gonna eat him, eat him in Grandpa's belly, cause it's a dream. Anyway, we take that fish like that. Now, I can't do this with one hand, so I shove you back. Now I'm back even sooner. You take the fish, you put it in the egg bath. And in the egg, I've got salt and pepper in there too. And I put this on first, I don't know why, but I'm just doing it this way, so. I'm taking the fish and I roll the bacon around. See, I got that bacon all around in there, I want y'all to watch that. So. Then we're going to take the bacon. And we're going we to meal the motherfucker. That way y'all can see. And you make sure the bacon stayed on it. Y'all watching that? So then we got that fish all done at, right? So y'all see the pretense of it. So, hang on. Yeah, but uh, you'll heat up a little bit, like by seven, because of the bacon. You don't want the bacon and everything to cook first. Now y'all hear that fish frying? Look at that. Right now, you don't want to mess with it too much, because Fish will fall apart on you. And here we got fish, seasoned, egg, wrapped in bacon. Grandpa, Grandpa, tell me true. Who can I cook you? Nobody! Michael thinks he can. Ain't no way Michael can outcook me. 
He just thinks he can. And Bridget can't cook at all, so. Alright, you see how this fish is cooking now? Look how golden brown that is. See, you can't even see the goddamn bacon. As you see, I'm finishing up this fish. And look at that plate there. Fish with seasons real good with a little bit of lemon juice, rubbed in egg, rolled in cornmeal, wrapped in bacon. Oh my God. That is so awesome. Now I'm going to make my own seasoned fries. And then I'll show you it all at one time. Don't that shit look good? Good God, young, let's make it. Let's eat. Well, here we are, youngins, and there's the proof, and there's the proof. Look at that, all wrapped up. Oh my God! Oh man! Oh, that bacon does something to that fish. Oh my God! You're gonna like. Look at that. Oh, God. That makes you run a cookie mom's ass. Mmm. Alright, now look at the side. Bacon, egg, salt, pepper, a little bit of seafood seasoning, cornmeal. Wrap up the bacon. Dip it in your uh, cornmeal. Fry it. Oh my God. I'm gonna go eat. Bye, everybody. Hey, youngins. Let me turn the, turn the grease on. Put some flour in there, see? Wait a minute, is this a dog bowl? Yeah, you're the dog. In an egg. Milk. And when you do it, don't catch the house on fire. And what we do, youngest? Michael and I were talking about it on the Facebook yesterday. Some fried candy bars. So, I'm making him one. Thought you were a diet. <laughs> yeah? How the fuck are you going to eat a fried candy bar? I looked at the calorie content. There is 400 calories in a fried snicker. <laughs> yeah, probably need to bite. It's dehydrated. You going to need more than that, boy. That's a little goddamn bacon. Deal with it. Man, Bite my ass, Michael. You only got four here. You got nine pieces of bacon. Add you got to look how little that motherfucker is. So add two a piece. That's a baby fucking pig. So add two pieces of bacon per candy bar. Yeah, you're right. We needed maybe an extra pack. You're right. I don't like working with this shit. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I should never listen to your ass. This bacon is gonna be raw on it. Now, how you want my goddamn bacon? It ain't gonna be raw. Look 
the fire. I need fire. I need new frying pans, Mike. I want you to buy me a set. There's fire back. We got salt. Get better frying pans, do it. This is the pan that you broke with the hammer. I know. I gotta show the shape of this thing. Now what the fuck is that little piece of shit gonna do? It might do a goddamn lot! But you get out of the way. Oh my god. Hey, what's the thing? Hey, you got it. So this one is the trial run. This is the trial run. God damn it! It's like a trick candle. Oh shit, it's back. Why is this out of the goddamn thing? Keep it up. Alright. Dad! Look it up. Yeah, shit again. <laughs> the fuck out of me. Shit. <laughs> I didn't do a goddamn frying pan, Michael. This is ridiculous. But look at that candy bar, though. It looks good. What if it catches the grease? You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm going to store. I'm gonna buy me a new fucking power pan right now. There, get a goddamn pot. Get my goddamn. Somebody needs to buy me a new set of fucking pans. I will buy you one as a housewarming present. Yeah, I'll probably burn that when you stop. I'm gonna try it. Mmm, mmm. That good, huh? Yeah, man. Let's try a Twinkie. Holy shit, that's good. Fried candy bar. With bacon. We find a Twinkie! It's stuck in the bottom. Get it down. Get it down. 
man, this is this is experimental cooking with grandpa. <laughs> you ain't done this in years. Go have it. Look at you getting better at it. Yeah, I ain't done in a while. What? <laughs> That's just to make a reason. Oh, nice. There's your Twinkie. Yeah, you do a good dessert. This is a good dessert. Mmm. I love fucking bacon. It's a little sliver of bacon. And they cook so fucking quick. That's the good part. There's your snicker. Anyway, y'all get the gist, right? I bet you can see anything with the smoke everywhere. Fuck you. I think we can go on record and say this is the most healthy cooking, unhealthy cooking with Grandpa we've ever had. I ain't cooking no goddamn health food! I cook a pig! We got, oh my god, feel that Twix soft salt to this. Wow, let's cut that bit. We got Twix! I'll just cut the Twix. There you go. Mmm. I feel how heavy that is. Where is this one? That was a snicker. Oh my god! Mm. Twinkie. You got Milky Way. You got salt to this. God. That good? Yeah, man. Alright. Y'all see how simple that was? Quick, we got it with bacon, we got it with out. So, I want, you, I want you to go home, I want you to go to the store, make your batter, candy bar, whatever. Make your supper for dessert one night, perhaps a supper. God damn that motherfucking shit's good! <laughs> and don't blame us when you lose your foot to diabetes. Yes. And I got what? Four candy bars and two Twinkies. Look at that. And look, look, look for later. Oh, mm. which one's that? I don't know what it was, it's just good. Alright, youngest. Now you all watch me cook. You know I make some odd stuff, but it's all good. Do it at home. Just let me sit there and think, you know, I wonder what, I wonder what bacon and, uh, and fucking turtle legs would taste like. And then do it. Just whatever hits your mind, try it. All you can do is throw it in the garbage and throw up. So, Experiment with your food, your cooking. I got a question. What's what? the worst thing you ever made? The worst thing I ever made? Yeah. You know, I really don't know. I remember, I remember there was one time where you spent like every night making the same dinner. You cut up potatoes with ham. And oh, I love that shit. But you made it every night. But it was good. I could have eaten it every night. It was good the first two nights. Well, when you, back then we didn't have much money, so that's all we had. When we had money back then. We got that goddamn that ham and shit out of the goddamn U.S. government shit. You know that, that fell out there in, 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 in I forgot the name of the state. Somewhere. Colorado. Oh, is it Colorado? Yeah. Colorado. The guy went to that in, in that theater, you know, and shot and killed all them people. Kinda bothered me, man. All they do is talking about him. Like he's a They're making him some kind of a goddamn god or something. And, 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 and that's all they're talking about. Let's talk about the goddamn families who lost their loved ones. Let's talk about the goddamn... 
Ah, God damn, I get so mad when I think about this shit. Yo, quit talking about that motherfucker! Start talking about the family! The families are the ones that have to suffer! They're the ones that their loved ones are gone! Screw that son of a bitch! Get in the goddamn chair! Put a rope around his neck! Put it over a tree! And pull that motherfucker as hard as you can. Let him swing! Who, you know... Oh, he's a smart boy. He, he was top of his college. He, he wasn't no valedictorian. Fuck him! I, I, quit talking about that son of a bitch. Let's focus on the family. Let's focus on the people that got murdered. The people that got wounded. Let's concentrate on getting them well. Getting their lives back together. And screw that son of a bitch! There's too many goddamn crazies out there walking around. It's time to start finding out who they are and getting their asses before they can do something like that. Yeah, I'll be back to you in a minute, whoever you are. There were people there just to watch a movie. They went to have fun, a nice time. And if some asshole decides he wants to go on there, like he's a goddamn Fifth Cavalry or Hitler or some shit and shoot and maim people. Well, people, trust me, he is nothing. He needs to die. This is one time that somebody actually needs to go to the chair soon as possible and get it. Or lay on the table and have it put in their veins. Kill him! In Grandpa's court, he's guilty as hell! And I sentence him to death! Get him! And I did, oh God. People, think about the families. Think about the loved ones that are left behind. They're gonna miss their families. They're gonna miss their son, their daughter, their father, their mother, their child, whatever. And there's nothing that bothers me. A woman took her little baby that got killed that, in that theater, and everybody's saying, what was she doing with a little baby at a theater? It's America, motherfucker! You go and come as you please! Get off that shit! The baby's dead. Say, poor mama. Not, what was she doing out with the baby in the movie? Man, hell with you people. Y'all, all y'all critical sons of bitches. I, you know, I got no use for nothing. In fact, you know, I'm through this goddamn block. Yeah, I'm through this goddamn thing. Grandpa here, how y'all doing? This is Grandpa's Corner. This is where I talk about what I want to talk about. Hell with anybody else. You know, I had a youngin write me yesterday. When not seen her youngin. Ain't seen her youngin. Well, the story is, she, she put her youngin up for adoption when she was little. And once again, they ran across each other. And tried to make, she tried to make friends. She, she apologized. She said, I'm sorry, I, I did the wrong thing. Can you forgive me? But she goes and sees her youngin. All they want, and while she's there, all they do is fight, argue, and cuss, and raise hell, and you know that shit ain't right. If you don't want to forgive somebody when they when they ask you to forgive them, then leave them alone. Don't bother with them. Stay away. Don't keep pouring salt in an open wound because that don't do nothing. But cause even more problems and more friction the hell out of me when I hear stories. I hear a lot of stories like that. Mama, number one, you were wrong. You should have found a way to keep your kids. I don't, you know, to me, there's, if you lay down and, and you take the big one and you get pregnant, then it's your responsibility to take that child and raise it. There are government programs that can help you, but you, you know, yeah, I don't have to elaborate on that. You know, it was, you made a mistake. And you've apologized for it. But Jesus Christ, young, if, if you're going to see that parent and you're going to be with that parent, don't be getting on their asses. Who do you think you fucking are? It, it bothers the hell out of me when y'all do that. And, and then you marry somebody who, you know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 blah. God damn. Y'all can really piss me off. The mama comes, she spends money, she takes it for a good time, spends a lot more money. 
gives them cash money, and then she goes home and she feels like, why did I go? Why did I do this? Well, you learn from your lessons. You only bought, let me tease them. If I fuck up, I'll apologize one time. I ain't apologizing no more. You can either accept my apology, let's move on and start a relationship, or leave me the hell alone. So, Mama, you try to do the right thing. I hope you and your young and work it out. I hope y'all get along. If you don't, write it off. Move away. Don't worry about it no more. Because you got other people that care about you, and you got other people that love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And youngin, if you, either you're going to forgive them or you ain't. If you forgive them, don't bring this shit up no more, because it's over. Mama's trying to make amends. She's trying to do the best she can. You need to let her or let her go. One of the two. Anyway, this is Grandpa's Gunner. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Westboro Baptist Church. Once again, your pompous ass is done. Come in my radar again. Why in the hell are you going to Colorado and protest? I know what you're going to say. Those people deserve to die because God told that dumb piece of shit to do that. And that America is going to hell. Oh yeah, we've all, we've all heard your damn little song and dance routine before. And you know something? We don't care what you say. Why don't you just stay out of something that don't belong, doesn't belong and doesn't matter to you? Y'all are a bunch of losers. I mean, hell, even your church ain't nothing but family members. Incest is best. Incest is best. Shirley, are you are you are, are you thinking you're gonna make a few dollars on this? Uh, do you think you're gonna turn some people your way of thinking? That ain't never gonna happen. America hates you, Shirley. They hate you as much as they hate that piece of shit that did all that shoot. Little Mr. Orange Head, little bastard. You know, Shirley, you don't like me, and you know something? I don't care, because I don't really don't like you. You are your old fucking dilapidated old daddy who, who when he dies, I'm going to find his grave and piss on that son of a bitch. Piss on yours, too. How the hell can you say anybody going to hell? And you're going there, too. You know, having a baby like you did, According to you now, according to me, I don't really care what you do with your life. But according to you, you broke a sin, Shirley, so you're going to hell. You had a little bastard, and now you're going to hell for it. You know, the way you treat your kids is bad, too. You know, I've read up on you. Even your kids don't even like you. Some of your kids think you're a nothing. I think you're a nothing. America thinks you're a nothing. The world thinks you're a nothing, Shirley! You are a goddamn nothing! You don't deserve to breathe the same air as decent, normal people. People that go to work. People that are raising their families. People that are paying their bills. You're a zero, Shirley. Stay out of Colorado. They don't want you there. They don't need you there. All you do is go there and start shit so you can get on the news a little bit and have, have another 15 minutes of fame. Shirley, why don't you get your heart right and, and start living like a human being? You and your decrepit old daddy. No, but you're going to sit there in your little church and you're going to get up there on Sunday morning and say, Praise God! Praise God to the glory! And God, you're a bigger sinner than most people. You're going to hell quicker than me. At least I'm truthful with what I say. I'm true what I say. I don't lie like you. I don't blame people for things like you do. You live in the greatest country in the world. You hide behind the amendments. You hide behind the law. You, you just, oh, God, I know what I'll say. I hate you, Shirley. It's people like you that ruin this country. Shirley, stay the hell out of Colorado! They don't want you there!
Can you understand that? Don't, you better not be going no more soldiers' graves. Because I'm going to tell you something. People ain't going to take that much longer at all. I'm getting goddamn getting tired of waiting on goddamn pop job now. They ain't that goddamn busy. Fuck that goddamn elevator music. This don't give me no shit. I'm gonna call the home office. Tell them told that goddamn bastard Papa John. God damn, they put you on hold too fucking long. Uh, yeah, my name is Charlie Green. I live in South Carolina. I ordered some goddamn pizza for Mackenzie Millar in Orlando. I've never had a problem. Your goddamn boy gets there and doesn't even knock on the door, calls her and says, your pizza's out here, and then tells her he can't give her the pizza because I'm not there to sign for it. Now, how could I be in South Carolina and come there and sign a ticket saying, I ordered her pizza and I've done give you all my card number? Maybe maybe it's a different store. I know it's over there by the um, by the mall and all that. Right. Okay. Let me well let me hang. Let me get that number down. Write this number down. <laughs> but I apologize for shouting at you. But it wasn't right, was it? My name is Charles Green. I live in South Carolina. I ordered a pizza for someone in Orlando. Your driver delivered it, and well, no, he didn't. He didn't knock on the door. He called her from outside, saying your pizza's out here. She goes. She goes to the door to get the pizza. He won't leave it with her because I'm not there to sign it. How can I sign the goddamn thing when I'm in South Carolina? Well, you know, you're the first goddamn store. I've been ordering pizzas through Papa John for God, for a year, and I've never had this problem. I always give my card and everything they want when I order it. And if that's the case, y'all needed something else, then that should have been told to me before y'all, or, or online, or how, how I ordered or something, instead of waiting until the pizza gets there and then not be able to deliver the pizza. And those kids are hungry. And them kids are hungry, so. Well, then what do I need to do here? Because this, you know, this, this sucks. I am calling the home office. I am, I am calling Papa Johnny. And by the way, you are on video me talking to you right now anyway so I want to know what we need to do to get this situation solved because I don't want her to get those same goddamn pizzas now because they're cold. I want fresh pizzas for her. But how the fuck can I be there to sign this son of a bitch when I'm in South Carolina? Well then you need to talk like a goddamn man with some sense. How the, how the hell can I sign a car in Orlando and I'm in South Carolina? Well, then I tell you what, I'll call your goddamn home office and I'm going to find out why. Because I've never had this problem all over the country. I've ordered pizza to Alaska through Papa John's and they always get delivered with no problem. But I will call your home office. What is your name, dude? B-R-I-C-E. Well, Bryce, I will be talking to your home office about you. Thank you, bitch. Get goddamn Papa John on the goddamn phone. I am so goddamn mad. First goddamn time I have ever had this goddamn problem. Man, fuck goddamn Papa John's. I'm mad. I'm serious. This, this is goddamn serious shit here. Goddamn stupid motherfucking Bryce. Bryce, you in Orlando. You a dumb motherfucker. You don't need your goddamn job. Son of a bitch. I'll be in Orlando within a month. I'll see you, bitch. Papa John will be getting a goddamn call Monday fucking morning. And I want to talk to the bastard himself. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're not going to talk to John. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, this is the end. Grandpa here. Dark because there ain't no power on, but... Saying goodbye to the old place. Lots going on here. A lot of good times, bad times. A lot. Hate leaving the old place, you know what I mean? The 
whole place empty now. Man, when the stove and the refrigerator got all gone, beat up, and lots happened. Don't know if y'all can see much, but the old wash and dryer used to be there. That dryer's caught more hell. In my old room, boy, the old trailer shot in the ass. Remember when I got my hair? They put that shit near my hair and I had a fit right here. Man, I thought I, was, I thought I, was, I had to go to the hospital or something, you know. And in this room is where they put the fireworks on my ass. Lots happened. A lot has happened. I'm going to miss the old place. I'm going to miss the hell out of the old place. You know, place all too ratty and everything, but it was home. Any place that you can hang your hat and call your own, your own, that's home. This was home. It was paid for. It had no bills. Remember, I got mad, tore this closet out. Man, I have had a pissed ass day that day. That's where the boys got mad with the, got mad me and decided to take it out on the wall. And this was old Pickle Boy's room. Remember when the TV was right there? And I walked in on him and just destroyed his TV. This was Pickle Boy's room. Sure seems funny now, everything empty gone. That's the bathroom we had to replace. Been a lot of cussing, a lot of fighting, a little loving, a little loving, very little loving. But we're gonna miss the old place. It's kind of sad. It's been a good many years in a place and. Somebody like Boeing comes along and destroys it all. That's what's wrong with big corporation. They can take a little person and throw them out of their home and not even give a dime to help them relocate. <laughs> oh God. Go miss this place. I'm gonna miss this place. I, I know it don't look like much people, but you know something, it was home. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> Goodbye, house. Go miss the old place.